So I just want to start off by saying, this video is for comedic purposes only. I have nothing against Doug Z for any other YouTubers. But that being said, why the hell would I use baking soda on my frickin' toilet? Now let's get into the video. Doug Zeef, the man, the myth, the legend, decided to make a video talking about the 2017 TCG ban list, how Konami made a response, but he also mentioned in the video that ban list discussions, ban list predictions, ban list tacos are just cheap views, and it got me triggered. It got me triggered, and I had to make a video about it. Now, in my defense, I'm sorry, Doug Zeef, but we have not had a ban list since 08 24 2016 and furthermore in his video he also mentioned that we should stop bitching and moaning about the ban list and we should be making good quality content well tell you what i'm gonna make some good quality content because we're not gonna talk crap about konami we are gonna make Yu-Gi-Oh great again we're gonna build that Yu-Gi-Oh wall and it's gonna be so tall and it's gonna be worth two billion dollars just a small loan of two billion dollars and it's gonna be the best freaking ban list that we've ever seen so that every player can stop saying yo where's the ban list at? but before we make our own ban list we're not gonna talk about crap from Konami in this video as I just mentioned we're gonna say some good things about them good things about Konami. Number one. There's good things about Konami somewhere. I got it. They're a gaming company. They're a gaming company. They make video games. They like making pachinko machines with Metal Gear Solid characters on it because it apparently makes money. And they put our ban list into a pachinko machine properly. It's the best gaming company idea that I've ever seen from a gaming company. Number two, because we're going to keep it going. They made Dark Magician Girl. That was supposed to be a face. It was supposed to be parentheses. And just to prove my point, let's be real here. When we were all five, six, seven years old, Dark Magician Girl was the OG waifu. She was the one that you wanted a waifu pillow of to sleep next to and cuddle with and tell her all your stories about how you wish the Breath of the Wild came out like three years ago. Give me one second to prove my point. See, you cannot deny that beautiful face. That beautiful waifu face. She's winking at you when you go to bed at night. It's it's beautiful. It's perfect. You can't deny it. It's just the most beautiful thing in the world. So my brothers and sisters of the Yu-Gi-Oh! gaming community, who all bought Nintendo Switches on day one, because I like pissing my money away, we are going to make our own personal ban list so that we don't have to make ban list discussion videos anymore. It's going to be like a wall that's going to cross across Canada, Vancouver, maybe parts of Jamaica, but that's okay because it's going to be a banless wall where a bunch of cards are going to be banned. We'll never see Zoo again. Just let me sell off the deck first so I can make my money back. <laughs> and together, we'll make Yu-Gi-Oh! great again. And we're going to use a small loan of 2 million pretzels. Yes, you heard me right. 2 million pretzels. And that way, Doug Zeef will not have to be mad about us making ban list discussion videos all because we want a ban list from 08-24-2016. They should have one starting today on March 3rd, 2017, effective until March 3rd, 2018, because that's basically what they're doing. And it's freaking stupid, and it's disgusting. They need to have an end date on the ban list. It's stupid, it's idiotic, it's asinine. But I'm not going to make banless discussion videos anymore. We talked about why Konami's great. They made Dark Magician Girl, and they're a gaming company. They are the best gaming people in the world, and they totally don't suck at all, and I'm totally not using satire <laughs> to, to my advantage. Oh, God. I can't even, I can't even be serious about myself. <laughs>
Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a video today doing a little bit of a parody on Konami and just how everyone's been talking crap about the ban list. And Doug Zeef made some good points as my phone's going off. Doug Zeef made some good points about how, you know, a lot of people make ban list succession videos because they're cheap views, they're easy views. I don't know how much I agree with that, but. Um, I do have the utmost respect for the guy. He's super cool, super chill. Um, but he also said, too, that, um, you know, along with the cheat views, he also said that, you know, people are always bitching about Konami and just how they're a bad gaming company. And I do agree that they are a terrible company. And because of the fact that if you constantly keep on making balance discussion videos, it makes people that agree with you want to comment because they may not care about what you say. They just want to comment what they think about the balance, whether they like you or hate you. They just, you know want to put their two cents in. They want to speak up about the ban list. So I figured that I would do a little bit of a parody on this and that, you know, I would just kind of put it on its head and instead of, you know, talking crap about the ban list and why, you know, it sucks that we don't have an end date, I would be like, it's fantastic that we don't have an end date. It's the best idea Konami's ever done in like a terrible, you know, PewDiePie voice. I, mean, I know that's going to make y'all cringe. Y'all are probably cringing at this point. But, you know, I thought it'd just be something fun, something different, just having some fun here on yu tubing um, A lot of my new subs have been saying that uh, I have a really chill um, sense and mentality, and I really do appreciate that. I try to keep it chill here on YouTube. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a parody. If you did, smash that like button. Smash that favorite button. Be sure to hit that ding-dong bell so you can be part of the notification squad, guys. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Oh, and I almost forgot, subscribe if you've not already.